cautious chair, fellow Toastmasters, and yes, good evening. Good evening. There are many methods in the world on how to train your kids, but I only support one of them. Experts around the world always give out thesis upon thesis on how to train them, how to develop them into productive human in society. I believe in one particular method. And that method is, you have to beat your kids. <laughs> Why do I say that? Well, of course, I was beaten a lot as a kid, so I would like revenge on my behalf as well. But I grew up to be a nice, loving, productive member of the society through this beating. <laughs> through super mom's fist of love, I learned values that I could not imagine I've learned before. I say Superman of love, uh, Superman mom, because, well, she was faster than a speeding bullet, and her hands weighed a ton. <laughs> I believe they weighed a ton because one day, when she slapped me, I almost levitated. And then the left came quickly and put me back in place. <laughs> I never, ever, ever would have learned some of the things I learned without my mom beating them, beating me. Now, just for disclaimer's sake, I'm not telling you to go box or kick your kids. A simple slap would do. I mean, you don't go to a gym and see somebody slapping a boxing bag. They know when to punch and kick and they know when to slap. Benefits of hitting your kid. Apart from learning, you get social value. Smoking gives you social value. When you're a smoker, you can go out and say, hey, do you have a smoke? You start a conversation. Do you have a lighter? You start a conversation. How's the weather? You can start a conversation. But the biggest conversation starter I know is standing next to somebody of the same race as me, say, my mom beat me as a kid. <laughs> she did the same to me! <laughs> We're best friends forever. <clears throat> what I learned from my mom's fist of love, first lesson in life, listen to the higher power. Now the higher power could be your parents, could be your boss, could be your teacher, but anybody that has a stronger slap than you is the higher power. And you must, at any cost, obey them. I learned this the hard way, left and right. Then, the second lesson I learned was, don't lie. People know when you're lying. One day when I was in school, it was the 10th period. I skipped class to have a water fight. But I knew that as soon as I got back to class, the teacher would get me into trouble. So, I decided to lie and say, I was standing there and this boy came and threw water on me. It worked well for the teacher. So I thought it would work well for my mother. She comes during her afternoon break to pick me up from school. And she asks, where are you at? Oh, a boy threw water on me, but don't worry, I already told the teacher and he got into trouble. She said, okay. As we got out of the car, I got the left and right. She knew. I don't know how she knew I was lying, but she knew. So I learned, don't lie. Or if you're going to lie, at least make sure that there's no evidence that can be traced back to you. <laughs> the next thing I learned from my parents is, do not stamp over anybody's hard work. I learned this because one day I had L S L D S S D. Let's do something stupid disease, which all kids have, by the way. And the method for getting rid of it is to smack them around. I got this genius idea of turning this big bouncing balloon into a giant water bomb. So uh, at first when I filled it up, I couldn't lift it. So I ended up untying it, putting a towel under it, recruiting my brother and his friend in on it as well to lift it up all the way two flights of stairs to the terrace, to the rooftop actually, to throw it down. 
town. We went at, to my friend's place. Little did I know that his, his mom had freshly planted new flowers. Now his mom wasn't the type to hit him, she just yelled at him. My mom showed her the correct way. Because when that water bomb fell, I heard an angry Filipino screaming in Filipina, or Tagalog, I think, if it's correct. All of these words that I didn't understand. And I was wondering, what did I do right now? I can't blame them, they're younger than me. I'm obviously going to take the heat from this. So we went down, dealt with this angry woman. She made us clean of the mess. And replanting those plants was, well, it wasn't that simple. I mean, who knew that there were so many plants and so many soils and you have so many different shovels to do whatnot. But I thought I escaped until my mom comes over because they're best friends. And then I was like, you know, we already did our punishment. And she says, okay, walking past me, there's your punishment right there. In short, I wouldn't have learned these important values if it weren't for my mom's eating. I highly recommend you to feed your kids. <laughs> Otherwise, who knows? They might grow up to be misfits in society. Without my mom's luck, I could have been in jail. No kidding. For the amount of stupid stuff I did, I was heading that way. Beat your kids, fellow Toastmasters. Thank you. <laughs>